In today's video, we're gonna cover a really common question. People ask me all the time how to close partial positions. You've probably seen some of my PL either on Instagram, Twitter, or in other videos where I show one entry price, but multiple exits with the same entry price, multiple positions with that same entry. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna to explain to you why that is and how I make that happen. What's up guys, welcome back. For those of you that are new, my name is Austin Silver. I appreciate you being here, checking out my trading videos. Today, we're gonna to cover something that I hope will help all of you. I know a lot of people use MetaTrader 4, but if you've been following my videos, you know that MetaTrader 4 was left in the dust in 2019. Pre-coronavirus was, was MetaTrader 4. So now, if you've again seen the other videos, I'm using TradingView and FX Trade. Both of them are supported by my broker, Oanda, so it's very, very smooth. Today, I wanna to show you how I close partial profits through TradingView. Now, you can do all of this through the FX Trade app as well, but they're basically done the same way. So once I show you here on TradingView, then you're gonna know how to do it on any app that is similar to this. The distinction between TradingView, Oanda, and any other broker, regulated broker like this, and MetaTrader 4, is that with MetaTrader 4 on the mobile app, it was super easy to close your position in pieces. Basically, if you had 1.0 standard lots in, you would go to the top of the screen, lower the lot size and hit close. That's literally the same thing I'm gonna show you how to do here, except we don't refer to the currencies that we're trading in lot sizes, we refer to them in units. So instead of saying one standard lot, 1.0, we say 100,000 units. So it's a little bit differently and requires a little bit of basic math, but for the most part, it's very, very simple. So let me show you here on TradingView exactly how to do it. Now, before we get into this, I wanna remind you guys down in the description below and in the pinned comment, I have the link to join our weekly email list. Riley is kind enough to throw together an awesome email for all of us. She includes some of my best trading content from the previous week, and of course, the newest episode of our brand new podcast called Today's Money. So make sure you hit the link down below, put your email in, it's totally free. I wanna get this email to you every single week. Now, when we look over at TradingView, make sure before we start this that you've seen the previous two videos that I've made on the channel here about how to use TradingView. I'm not going to explain too many of the basics here. We're just going to explain how to close this entry in pieces. What you see here at the changeover of day is number one, spreads are massive. As usual, it's 15 pips right now on GBPCAD. But because this is not a real trade, we're on a paper trading account, and because that has nothing to do with the purpose of this video, I didn't care to make it at any specific time of day. But what I wanna show you here is that we have about 500,000 units of currency in, actually 495,000. What that translates to is not 495,000 lots, it's actually a 4.95 lot size. The way you can think of this is whenever you see 100,000, that's one standard lot. So a five lot would be the same thing as 500,000 units of currency. So in a situation like this, I'm short GBP CAD, 495,000 units, and my price is 1.73682. You can see my stop loss above, but let's just say as the trade develops against me, as it's going negative now, I took this position before we started the video specifically because I was like, I needed to go against me so we can close it. Let's just say as we normally would, when a trade isn't developing in your favor, you can actually take a look at this entry and try to close it here through your protect position, but you won't be able to. You would think, let me click to protect position and it should let me close some of it. It doesn't. What it asks you to do then here, you see in the top right, is adjust your stop loss and adjust your take profit. So what are you gonna do? How do you find it? Well, let's check at the bottom. You see there's an X. I know that's gonna close the position. I see the profit here. I see the stop loss. I see a little drawing tool. Maybe that's it. No, nope, that's literally the same thing. Okay, so how do we do this? Well, it's simple. Remember, we're trading in units of the currency. So if we're short, if we're selling GBP CAD, how do we get rid of that sell? How do we close that sell? We buy back units of the currency. So in this situation, let's just say I wanted to close half of it. What I would do is I would round up the 495,000 to 500,000. I'd come to the quantity here and I would type in half of 500,000, which is 250,000. And because we're short, I would put in a buy order I'd click buy and then right there, you can see we're now down to 245,000 units. Let's say, for example, I wanna close just the 45,000 units. Again, change the quantity, hit buy, and because we're short, it closes some of my position. It buys back some of those units. 
Now with 200,000 left, let's just say I want to close the whole thing, hit the X and we're out. Let me flip this around and just show you a buy. So let's buy 100,000 units right now. Perfect. Let's just say bah, 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 trade's going well. We want to close it in profit as things are working out great. Let's close 60,000 units. So what do we do? We don't buy it again. That's going to put another long position in. You sell it back because you bought it previously. So we sell 60,000 and it'll take us down to 40,000 units. It's that simple. You can do the same exact thing on the FX Trade app. You guys know I have it down here. You could do it on your phone in the same way, but that's how you close in units. So let's say one more example. I'm in a trade, one standard lot, 100,000 units. Again, that 100,000 units is gonna change depending on the currency pair that you're trading. It slightly varies, but for rough numbers, you think Euro USD, you think 100,000 units is a standard, one standard lot. Okay, that standard lot goes up to 2R. Let's say I wanna take half the trade off. How many units would you close one standard lot at 2R? How many units would you close? Well, if you had 100,000 units, one standard lot on that trade, and you closed half of it, you close 50,000 units. And then you'd manage the other 50,000 accordingly. Do you close a piece of that? Maybe you knock it down to 25,000. And that's how you can piece your way out of these trades, closing in units. All you have to do is remember, 100,000 units is a standard and it goes down from there. I hope that that makes sense. I hope that this video was clear. I wanted to keep it short under 10 minutes. That way you guys could get this information. And now you see how to close your trade in pieces here using TradingView. I hope this video provi provides you with some value. Make sure you guys do give me a big thumbs up if it did give you some new insight, give you some new information to help you make better trading decisions going forward with. And I will see you guys in the next trade video.